Indian classical dances. Indian classical dances is an umbrella term used to describe the most recognized dance styles on the Indian subcontinent. The first time they were mentioned was around the first century BC in the tractate Natya Shastra. Each style is characterized by its distinctive movements, intricate footwork and expressive hand gestures. Nowadays, Indian Ministry of Culture recognizes nine classical dance forms Bharatanatyam, Chao, Khatak, Kathakali, Kuchipuri, Manipuri, Mohiniyattam, Odissi and Satriya. Bharatanatyam It is the oldest Indian classical dance, which originated in South India, specifically in the territory of Tamil Nadu. Traditionally, it was performed by temple female artists called Devadasi. Bharatanatyam is a team performance that consists of a solo dancer accompanied by the musicians and one or more singers. Dancers performed intricate beat patterns with their feet synchronizing with the rhythmic syllables of the drum and recitation. The hand gestures and facial expressions are coded, similar to the sign language, allowing dancers to convey stories and legends during their performance. Chow. Chow is syncretic theatre form that encompasses elements of music, dance and drama. This dance style originates from northeastern India and is an integral part of the folk dance tradition. Currently, there are three distinct schools of Chow dance, Purulia Chow, Saraikala Chow and Mayurbhan Chow. In this recording, we observe Purulia Chow style, which incorporates elements borrowed from material arts. Dancers in this style wear large decorative masks. As a result, the movement primarily emphasizes motions of the lower body. Purulia Chow is characterized by its numerous jumps, pirouettes and knee-walking movements. <laughs> Katak. Katak is a dance originating from North India, predominantly from Uttar Pradesh and Rajasthan. The name Katak literally means storyteller. Katak dancers tell stories through hand and body movements, facial expressions and footwork. The footwork in Katak is focused on swift rhythmic movements, primarily performed on flat of the foot and toes, incorporating many turns. <laughs> Kathakali is a dance form from the region of Kerala in southwest India. It often reenacts religious stories of gods, goddesses, heroes, and their enemies. The dance is highly technical, incorporating pantomime elements. In Kathakali, the use of eyes and eyebrows is far more involved than in any other classical dance. Dancers employ elaborate makeups, with each one representing a different character. 
Traditionally, this dance was performed only by male dancers. <laughs> Kuchipudi. Kuchipudi is a classical dance form originating from Adha Pradesh. It combines dance, drama, and music and was traditionally performed as a sacred dance in temples. It shares several similarities with the Bharatanatyam dance style. However, Bharatanatyam emphasized geometric precision, while Kuchipudi's style is more supple and folk inspired. <laughs> Manipuri dance. Manipuri dance is a grateful and enchanting classical dance form from northeastern state of India, Manipur. It is rooted in rich cultural heritage and religious traditions of the region. The dance often depicts stories from Vaishnavism, particularly those related to the god Krishna and his beloved Radha. Dance characterized with gentle eyes and soft, peaceful body movements. <laughs> Mohiniyatam. Mohiniyatam is a dance style from Kerala, traditionally performed by solo female dancers. Mohiniyatam is well known for its delicate and feminine style of movement. The dance style often tells stories from mythology and folklore. <laughs> Odissi is a dance style practiced in the state of Odisha on the northeastern coast of India. It was originally performed by Mahavis, female temple dancers. The dance has a very graceful and almost gymnastic-like character. The most popular themes for Odissi performances are stories of Krishna
Satria. Satria is a classical dance form that originates from the northeastern Indian state of Assam. Traditionally, Satria dance was performed in monasteries as a devotional art form to depict stories from the life of Krishna. This dance style is characterized by grateful movements, intricate footwork, and expressive hand gestures called mudras. help us create more content about dance, click a like button and subscribe to our channel.